thank you for watching and this is the second video of SolidWorks quick start chapter so in this video what we are gonna do is we are just gonna build our first assembly although we are not gonna cover each and every fine details of assembly because we will cover all those fine details into the assembly chapters of this course but i just want to speed up the process and let you know how you can build your first assembly so right now i am already into the SolidWorks so what i can do is i can just go into the files and i can open and then I can go into the second chapter because this is my second chapter and this is my second video. So what I can do is I can just open this part. So this is my first part here. So what I can do is like because I want to build our first assembly. So this is the part environment which I already explained in previous video. What we can do is like if you want to move into the assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the files and then here you can see there is an option like make assembly from the part. So we are ready into the part. So what we are going to do is we are going to make assembly from this part. So I'm going to click on it. And then it's going to ask me like if do you want to go with the default template or if you want if you have some uh, your customized template so you can just go into the advanced and then you can choose your customized templates but I want to go with the default template so I'm uh, assembly is already selected so I'm going to select OK. So in this way, this part is going to move into the assembly environment. So as you can see here, this part is already selected. So I just need to click the green check mark. So this is our assembly environment. As you can see, there is no option, the sketch or those kind of things or features and these things. This is the assembly environment. As you can see, there is an insert component option, how we can insert components, mates, linear patterns, smart fasteners and much more, which we are going to cover in future videos. So this is my first part into my assembly. So if you want to bring more parts or if you want to have uh, multiple copies of this part, so what you can do is you can just hold the control key on your keyboard and then you can just drag this part from here. So in this way, you can drag one more part or another option is what you can do is you can hold the control key and then what you can do is you can just hold the control from this part to next part like this. So in this way, like I can create multiple copies of these parts and then I press the F key on my keyboard. So in this way, it's going to focus into the center of my screen. So look at that. In this way, I have three parts here into my assembly. So again, if you want to rotate this assembly, so what you can do is you can just hold the middle button of your uh, mouse so, and then you can rotate. So in this way, you can rotate the assembly. Or if you want to rotate a single, uh, single component here, so what you can do is you can just right click on a part, hold it, and then you can just rotate. So in this way, you can rotate an individual component here. Or if you want to drag these components or if you want to move this component here, so what you can do is you can just hold with the left key on your keyboard and then you can move this component anywhere, wherever you want to move like this. Sorry for distraction, but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious SOLIDWORKS learner, then I'm going to highly recommend you. You can go into the description of this video and you would found a link of my course where I have over 10 hours of videos in which I have explained each and every command in a very detailed video. Or if you have any projects or assignments, so feel free to write me on my email, which is given into the description of this video. Thank you. Okay, so right now I have uh, three, two copies of my first component into the assembly. So what if I want to bring another component? So what I'm going to go is I'm going to go into the insert components. So if you cannot found your component here, so what you can go into the browse and then we have another part. So I'm going to bring that here. So I'm going to click anywhere and then in this way I can bring my another component here. And if you want to have another copy, so again what you can do is you can just hold the control key on your keyboard and then you can have multiple copies of this. Let's have one more copy like this. Okay, so right now I have multiple components into my assembly. So what, what is the next thing is like, I just want to create mate. So mate is like, if you want to have a mate connection between two parts or two components. So in this way, we can just stick different parts into an assembly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this cylinder and then I'm gonna select this cylinder and then you can see like when I'm going to select any cylinder. So you can see there is a pop up as you can see here. If I'm going to select this, you can see there is a pop up or another option is like I can go into the mates here into the ribbon section and then I'm going to select this cylinder first and then I'm going to select this cylinder. So in this way, this component is automatically going to move above to this cylinder because I already created a mate between them. So I'm going to click the green check mark 
and I'm going to click green check mark again. So in this way, I already created a mate. So what we can do is I can just rotate up and down and I can rotate it. But because there is a, there is a mate between these two cylinders, so I can rotate it. I can go up and down, but this cylinder would be fixed on that cylinder. I can create another mate. So what we can do is I can go into the mate again and then I'm going to select this face and then I'm going to select this face. So in this way, these two faces are also locked now. So right now I have two mate. The first mate is between cylinders. So these are cylinders are locked onto each other and these faces are also locked. So right now I can't rotate it. I can move up and down, but I can't rotate it. So just to define or just to fix a component with another one, you need to have three different mates. So right now I have two mates. So I don't have three mates. So that's why I can move up and down. And if I want to have third mate, so what I can do is I can create a mate between this, between this surface and the bottom surface of above component here. So what I can do is like I can press F key on my keyboard. And then if I'm going to select this surface and then I'm going to select mate and then I need to select another surface like this is the bottom surface. So in this way, it's going to come and it's going to move and it's going to come over to the surface, top surface of the basic part and then it's going to stick. So right now I can't move them. I can't go up and down. I can't rotate them. So in this way, I can create mate and I can fix my multiple components into assemblies. Or if you want to attach some another component here, so what we can do is we can create mates between them. So this was the basics of assembly, like how we can create our first assembly. So although we are going to cover all fine details, like there, there are very interesting options into the assembly. So uh, which we are going to cover in the next videos of our course. So thank you for watching. So this was our first assembly. And in the next video, what we are going to do is like we are going to create our first drawing. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you are a serious SOLIDWORK learner, then don't forget to check the course link in the description. Thank you. Sorry for distraction, but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious SOLIDWORK learner, then I am going to highly recommend you. You can go into the description of this video and you would found a link of my course where I have over 10 hours of videos in which I have explained each and every command in a very detailed video. Or if you have any projects or assignments, so feel free to write me on my email, which is given into the description of this video. Thank you.